Oh, what is this? Good morning. How's everyone doing? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh shoot, I didn't update the title. No, 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 no. <laughs> shoot. Uh, building the KV Defense Phase 1. No, 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 we are not unboxing today. Crap, I forgot to change that. Uh, build command. Done. Okay, it should be updated now. No more packages, no more packages. Yes, we have a build today. We're going to build the Phase 1. It actually goes live in two days. Two days. How do you guys feel about this third cam? Is this an unnecessary cam? Just like a BTS cam? Oh, that's very... The color on this is very different. Why is this so different? Oh, I know why. I know why. Uh, where are my LUTs? Um, um, <laughs> how's that? That's way too much. Let's add a little bit of color. It reveals that your desk is actually messy. Okay, these are all tools that I need. Shoot. I haven't cleaned up from yesterday's merch. Or yesterday's unboxings. <laughs> 500, yeah, you can see all my desk pads stacked here. Oh, wait, that command is very wrong. Hold on, let's change the build, the monitor command. That is not my monitor. Any music? Oh shoot, yes, there has been music this whole time. You guys haven't been listening to it. Is that Herman Miller? Yes. Do you like the Brutal 60? Yes. Um, chat commands. Monitor. Who asked for the monitor command? The stream is scuffed? Okay, buddy. Okay. Let's change the monitor. I no longer own the Dell Ultra Sharp. Uh, what monitor do I use? Which monitor is this? Where's my software for this? Yeehaw, bud. Hello. Okay, I found it. Uh, Taya uses the no longer Dell Ultra Sharp. It's. CG279X for editing and general media consumption and the ASUS. I still use the. Yes, okay. Okay, monitor command should be updated now. Yeah, there we go. We all know you're capping. What do you mean I'm capping? How's everyone's morning? Do you like silent alpacas? Um. They're not my favorite silent switch, but they're pretty decent if you're looking for a silent switch, yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on the stack 60? Don't know what the stack 60 is actually. Just finished building. My D60, I'm on Eco Blue, nice. Whoa, Persian Nine King, long time no see. Thank you so much for the 16 months. Welcome back. Uh, Dratic, things with the four. Flow handle with the 14. Soprano boys with the tier one. Soft boys with the 20 months. Eternal play with the 11. Kevin Pliss with the 22. Self old man, okay. Aiki Nim, 여섯 달, 감사합니다. The Exploding Josh with the prime. Clark, Cleric with the three. Cheese lover with the 18 months. Thank you. Are you ready for the DCS Renaissance? Mr. Chad, hello. Yes, I am. Uh, can you go back to the feature funk music? Uh, I can't. This VOD needs to go up on YouTube. I'm gonna get demonetized. 
Um, I mean, if there's a playlist that you guys know that doesn't have any copyrights, I'm down. What? King Salaman. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you for all the recently gifted subs. Thank you so much. Can I send the link? I'll Google it. Stacked 60. Oh, it's a Canon Keys product. It's just stacked. Uh, stacked acrylic. Okay. Um, I mean, I haven't tried this. But I like Canon Keys. It's also not too expensive. I mean, it is stacked acrylic, so... It's meant for not an expensive price point. Yeah, I, I mean, I own several stacked acrylic keyboards. If you If this is within your budget, I say go for it. I like it. Stack the acrylic underrated? Mm, is it underrated? I wouldn't say it's underrated. There's definitely a ton of stacked keyboard options available. People just... Not as many people prefer the stacked acrylic look, in my opinion. Yeah. Yo, Teha, what mono font are you using? These are just stock... Stream Elements fonts, I believe. Clavier stacked acrylic is goaded. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I, have, I have a stacked acrylic board right there. Oh, Rose's Garden. I'm trying out your the cold brew. It's pretty good. Is there a preferred ratio you use? I just went one to one. That's what they recommended on the packaging. They're very nice. This is some fancy cold brew from Sweden. And I like it. Tastes pretty good with regular milk. Mr. Actual Glacier, hello! Nice hair, long time no see. Yeah, I've been. Uh, do you have a specific bottle to make cold brew? No. Uh, Mr. Rose's Garden sent me a cold brew concentrate. I literally just mix it with milk and pour it. I don't need to do anything. It's just a concentrate, but it's pretty good. I miss you, same. Still watch your videos sometimes, old videos. <laughs> <laughs> I drink it with oat milk? Got it. I do have oat milk too. I just wanted to try it with regular milk to see what it was going to be like. Yeah. Dave Gandhi, how's the Singa Neko treating you? I'm still using it. I have. Oh god, why is this here? <laughs> Hold on. I have gotten accustomed to the 40% layout. But I wouldn't say it's my preferred layout. Like, as nice as it is. As nice as it is that the keyboard is so compact that I don't have to ever move more than one row from the home row, like it's just not comfortable hitting some of the keys. So, I mean, I, I'm still giving it a couple more weeks. No, maybe not a couple, maybe one more week to see how I like it. I've been using this for about two, three weeks now. We'll see. My Mio RG67 came in so beautiful. Ooh, nice. How do you feel about the KBD BIP gasket boop? I haven't tried it, but I mean, I love BIP's work. It's been a while since I've seen it. That's an old board, no? Oh yeah, it came out last year. Yeah, I remember talking about this during our sponsor segments. I think it's definitely interesting. You don't see too many boards with this kind of um, profile. I'm not personally big on curvaceous boards, but I think this is tastefully done. Um, all right. What does your desk mat say? My desk mat says, oh shoot, oh there you go. I can't believe you morons actually buy the shit. <laughs> Brown Bear, thank you for the five months. Rocking the same feature funk right now that my roommate gave me from the Subathon. Oh, he won two giveaways. Oh, I remember. Yeah, congratulations. The Bad Game with the seven, Twiggy Dolphin with the three, Gamly Bang with the tier one. Thank you so much. All right. Shall we start the build? Let's get to unboxing this. This board, I feel like, has a little bit of hype. 
Got a ton of interest on KBB fans' interest. Uh, today we're gonna be building with Gateron cap switches. Oosh. That I have lubed with 205. Oh, wait, sorry, it's not 205 grade zero. I used 3204. Hold on, I think in the command I said 205. I used 3204 for this. Lubed with Trebosis 3204. Okay. 3204, no switch films. I think when we checked out these switches when they initially launched, I remember thinking they didn't need switch films. We'll see. If they need switch films, I guess we can rebuild it. <sighs> All right. Here we have the board. So this is going live. The pre-order is going live in two days on KBD fans. There is a link to the product in the build command. Is this on manual? No. Phase. <sighs> this text is stealing the autofocus. Hold on. All right, no more, no more autofocus stealing. A 65% keyboard. Open key design. This board looks almost as cute as you. Okay. Phase one. Where is the autofocus point set to? Huh. Pretty clean blocks. Is there a cat cam today? I don't know where the cats are. But yes, we do have we do have the wireless cam set up. I think I figured out why the wireless cam wasn't working. It should be pretty stable now. A 65%, is it gasket mounted too? It is gasket mounted, yes. Uh, whoa, Mr. Alexa Toes with the 15 months, thank you. Vector Noon with the 25, that must be Will with the tier one. Samurai Yu with the one year. Petron with the three. Strange Tales with the tier one. Ethereal with the 14. I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, Ethereal? Ooh, okay. KBD fans. I feel like their packaging is always changing. I like this one, though. Here's the PCB. Who made the PCB? Ooh. Okay, that's the PCB. That, there is a Omega Huge. <laughs> flex cut here think you guys think it'll snap <laughs> okay this PCB looks pretty clean tracings are nice yeah I like the look very nice look we'll put this back for now plate what plate material were we set okay it looks like it is aluminum plate this does have ISO support. Thoughts on wind keyless versus HHKV layout? Um, well, those are two different layouts. Oh, this here is the HHKV layout. This, well, it's HHKV minus the numro. <laughs> with some odd sized key. Okay, this is not a good, this is not HHKB. The reasoning behind HHKB, well, it, you probably have to credit that to the designer of the HHKB, Sense, is it Sensei Oda? Sensei, I forgot his name. But yes, some, there is a engineer who thoughtfully planned out the HHKB layout as he found it optimal for himself. And it just kind of stuck around. Win keyless is more of a uh, vintage thing. Back in the day, Windows keys was not a thing. So it physically had a blocker there. And nowadays, enthusiasts like Win keyless for the aesthetic reason of it. Because you can program your keys however you want. So even if you don't have the Windows keys where it normally is, most people program it somewhere else. Okay. A little plate. Where's the board? Show me the board. Win keyless 60s are nice. Win keyless 60 is nice. Ooh, wee, look at this. So looks like we got sent the E white. 
Is this a, what is this? Huh, okay. Interesting. I can't find those cute screw trays anywhere. They are all sold out. These ones are from Rama Works. I don't know if they're in stock or not. This is from NRD. NRD. It's the Nest. These are from a local maker. They're just stones. <laughs> okay. In the render, is that thing on the left gave out light? Okay. There probably is. If this is the PCB, okay, yeah, it looks like there's just a little sliver of light here. I do recall seeing the, ooh, okay. So there's the three dots on the renders. Looks like they both have diffusers as well. Oh, this is an interesting design. It's got the blockers that we we're talking about. Ooh, it's got glasses. So I believe this was themed after Dieter, right? And these are supposed to be his glasses frames. Ooh, that would have been sick if this lit up though. I don't think this lights up. This is just a, this is a regular weight or accent badge, I guess. Dieter Rams, yeah. I don't know much about Dieter Rams. I know he's an important man in the design industry, but for a quick set, I got you. I thought you got a phase one camera. I wish I had a phase one camera. <laughs> Less but better. Okay, I don't know. This was a point of contention. <laughs> Less but better. I feel like it's a little, little aggressive. At least it's not the regular Comic Sans KBD fans fault font. Could you imagine if this was in the OG KBD fans font? At least he chose a better font. <laughs> Less would not be writing that on there. Yeah. Show, not tell. Show, not tell, right? This is the weight. I believe this is aluminum, so not really a weight. More of an accent badge, I guess. This is the bottom profile. Interesting. It's kind of like the key cult bottom, but more, more squared off slightly. I like that badge though. The design on the badge, I'm pretty simple, but clean. Okay. How much is this? Oh, what is this? Okay. 15. Looks like we can, there's a uh, replaceable badges. And of course, classic KBD fans product. Holy moly, it's got so many sheets of foam. <laughs> okay. We'll see what we, I'll let you guys decide the foam. Oh, and there's the motherboard. Okay, this is what we're gonna be building today. It looks like we're gonna have to apply the gaskets ourselves. Let's get to it. I'm gonna leave this right here. Let's test the PCB first. Okay. Oh, uh, Luffy one in the case. Okay, pins are over there. All foam, use keyboard as intended. Do you guys really want me to use all the foam? I guess I can. Ooh, the LED setup from the get-go is pretty nice. Nice color scheme. Got that orange and blue cinematic look. Okay, I believe this should be via compatible, right? Oh, I got a flash it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, it should be via compatible. Ah, okay. I just need to upload the draft. Hold on. Mm, design, load draft definitions. There we go. Show me. Oh, no, don't show matrix. Okay. 
At least no plate foam. There is plate foam. This looks amazing. Any clue on cost? I have not been told what the cost will be. But it will be live. Hmm? Oh, key tester. Oh! But it, it is going to be live on KB... KBD fans starting from t in two days. It's 410. Oh, has the price been released? Okay, I must have missed the price then. Are we forced into split backspace? No, I'm going full backspace. PCB works fine. Let's change the layout first. Oh, I can't change layout. That's okay. <laughs> I guess we'll make both of these backspace. Caps lock, left shift. Let's just also make this uh, left shift. Where's shift? Left shift. Okay. Keyboard works though we can carry on. I'm probably just gonna get a mode 65. Mode 65, also nice. I think it's pretty nice for the price. We'll see how I feel once I build this. Definitely an interesting looking board. <clears throat> I feel like they had, a, they had the opportunity to make this, you know, a little bit closer to what Dieter Rams would have done, but Still, it's it's a pretty interesting design, I would say, especially coming from KBD fans. Hmm, I pre-ordered a Q1 as my first build. Is that okay? Yes, that is perfectly fine. Okay, we need left shift, right shift. No, left shift, backspace, enter. A 70? No. Oh, interesting. You are forced to use a 7U spacebar on this. That's nice. You're fixed into 7U bottom row. There's a 7U. Love me some bar blockers. Nice. Why does only Tejas stream skip for me? Has there been stream issues? I feel like a lot of people have been saying that my my like stream the audio gets out of sync. Ooh, a new Twitch staff. Hello, Boo Casper. I hope my skin can be twenty percent as clear as your video quality right now. <laughs> All right. I am not a skincare expert, but it seems like people think my skin is good for some reason. Misconception one, my skin is not great. <laughs> but if I do have some tips, if you want good, if you want better skin, uh, I highly recommend you guys invest in skincare. At the age of 25, you start aging. 25 is around the age when you can start using anti-aging products like retinol. Highly recommend retinol. Do your research on retinol. And if you're gonna do retinol, you also need to apply sunblock. Well, regardless of whether you use retinol or not, you should be applying sunblock every day, even if you're staying at home. Sunblock, important, with a decent SPF. 
Uh, I've also been taking collagen lately. I think collagen is a little bit less scientifically proven to have positive effects, but anecdotally, I think collagen has also played a part in my skin getting a lot better. Retinol plus vitamin C, yeah. Why sunblock? Your skin gets affected by the sun, even if you're staying at home. Even if you never go out, like just the sun rays coming through your windows, it affects your skin. So, I turned off low latency and it solved the video for me. I see. I live in a cave. I mean, I guess if you live, if you actually live in a cave with no windows and you get zero sunlight, maybe you don't need sunblock, but <laughs> isn't sun good? I mean, sun is good. Yes, you should be getting sun, but it can, even like the UV rays can affect your skin negatively. Yeah, I block my windows. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's tune these stabs. Teha thinks we actually have sun rays in our holes. You guys need to go out and touch some grass. Touch grass. Staying at home all day. I mean, I'm a big homebody too. But you know, periodically you should go out and touch grass. I never had to use sunblock even when going to the beach. Yes, that is also me. No one needs to use, you don't feel like you need to use sunblock at home, but it does affect your skin. You should be wearing sunblock every day. What's a good starter board for a beginner? Uh, I would recommend you to kbdfans.com, any of their products. I live in Costa Rica and almost all the year is raining, but when it is summer, the summer is pretty strong. I see. Have you tried the Thick Fox Marshmallow Switches? They seem fun. Um, I haven't tried them in a hot minute, but I did really like them when I did. They're a pretty nice switch. Yes, I do recommend Marshmallow Switches. I feel like sunblock makes my skin itchy. Yeah, that is possible. That just means you need to find another brand that works for you. Just because some, you know, skincare influencer recommends a certain skincare brand doesn't mean it's doesn't mean it's good for everyone. You gotta find brands that. Well, you should look into the ingredients, and then you should find brands that work well with your skin. Skincare is all about finding the right product for you too. Oh man, this is not a 7 year. Where'd all my 7 years go? Hmm. Okay, maybe I should just use this kit, huh? Okay, we'll just save all this. <laughs> Let's just use the full kit. I like CeraVe Ultralight Moisturizing. Yeah, CeraVe is a good brand. I like their stuff. I use their body lotion, just a regular body lotion too. Have you tried the Mario Badescu Facial Scrub? I have not. Um, from Mario Badescu, I've only tried their face mist. I like their face mist, but I haven't tried other stuff. But I, I, I like their face mist. Thoughts on the HHHH H1 switches? I like them. I have one build with them, I think. Uh, a lot of people also like to Frankenstein switches out of the H1 components. SMH Mr. Nathan, wait, what am I streaming under? Am I not under? Oh, wait, I'm, I'm under just chatting. It's from yesterday. Makers and crafting, okay, let's go. Uh, sometimes when I go out, I don't wear that much. Prefer the cold over sweating, but I'm not. Hmm? Is syringe lube effective in taking away rattle from taking space bars after doing a step? Yes. You should use solar recovery if you haven't heard of it. I've never heard of solar recovery. What's that? What is that about? Have you used spritz springs? Yes. Oh no, why did that go dark again? I thought I fixed it.
dirty into Sugma cream. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, it does work now, okay. Is that the cold brew concentrate from yesterday? Yes, it is. It's very good, would recommend. I'm liking it so far. Solar recovery is like a post-sun exposure spray. Oh. Any hair plants? I don't know what to do next with my hair. I'm thinking of just going back to black after this. I might be over dyeing my hair <laughs> so many screens yes what's your go to wendy's order i'm just a i'm a chicken sandwich kind of guy especially if it's spicy spicy chicken sandwich i've heard their chicken nuggies are good but i haven't tried it in a hot minute Diet ginger. Mm, I definitely will not be trying ginger. <laughs> okay, what happened with Wendy's and Uber Eats? Are you big sponsored now? No, it's just a one-time thing. I am not... This isn't a long-term sponsorship. It is a... I'm just a part of the campaign. Wendy's and Uber Eats have partnered up to uh, come up with something called Noob School. I think their target demographic is mainly um, the gaming and content creation space. They teamed up with five other big content creators. I'm probably the smallest content creator in the lineup. There are some pretty big content creators that are a part of the campaign too. And for a month, if you spend $20 or more on the Uber Eats app at Wendy's, you will gain access to Noob School. Damn, audio is not synced again. Been happening a bunch recently. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I feel like maybe it's a Twitch thing because my settings have not changed <laughs> for audio. Or is my PC dying? No, but my PC is fine. It's not even struggling. It's fine for me. Hmm, I wonder if maybe maybe it's my graphics card. I'll try streaming off my CP next time then. See if that fixes anything. I don't have any audio delay. Okay, maybe it's just a internet difference. China boy cute. Thank you for the 14 months. And our bigfoot with the 34. <laughs> a low razy. Thank you for the tier one sub. Digital paradox with the five months. Thank you. Pusta with the 14 months, thank you. Spicy Spice with the 11 months. D. Jengis, thank you so much for the prime. Um, have you watched Squid Game yet? Ooh, I just watched up to episode three or four. I don't know if I like it more than similar shows yet. And I'm, I'm trying to like not be biased because it is a Korean drama. So obviously I want to shill a Korean drama, but I don't know yet if I like it more than Alice in Borderland. How is the concept so far? It looks pretty good. I mean, the concept isn't new. There have been other shows that have had similar concepts like that. Um, it's definitely much more, I would say it's definitely much more watchable. It's a show, yeah, it's a show on Netflix, Lana Likes Dick. I think, I think the first, the first season's already out. It's similar to Alice, yeah, it's, it's like Alice in Borderland, but set in Korea, and not as, I would say it's a little bit more realistic than Alice in Borderland. Alice in Borderland, while it was real, I mean, there were pretty big elements of fantasy to it. Whereas uh, Squid Game, I would say it's a little bit more realistic. It's very dystopian, almost. 
But I mean, yeah, it is. It is a. I think it's an interesting category. It was my first Korean show, but blew my mind. Oh, yeah, it's got a lot of hype. I don't know how it got a lot of hype, but a lot of non Asians know about the show as well. Why is keyboard tab not added to your stream? Oh, whoops. I I changed it midstream, so I probably didn't add it. Although I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> It doesn't matter whether you add a keyboard tag or not, or any tag. No one searches by tags on Twitch. Because they plaster it all over my Netflix? Oh, I see. Okay. Left shift, backspace, enter, and then spacebar. <clears throat> I searched by tag once. I've never searched by tag. I I mean, I guess I technically search by category. It's not really searching though. I just click into the category and that's it. Uh, Korean movies def underrated. Luckily, Academy saw that with Parasite. Yeah, I'm excited for more Korean films to be available worldwide. I do feel like Korean films generally have a different vibe than Western films, or I, I guess Asian films in general. Just something about the cinematography, the storytelling, it's definitely a bit different pacing, different vibe. I filter by language tag. Oh, language is interesting, okay. When I voted on this tag, I thought it was gonna be category. Oh, that a keyboard category would be sick. But I mean, even then. I don't know, I feel like the community is still so small. The community is still so small, I feel like. <laughs> Do we really need a category for keyboards? Like you can probably figure out who is a keyboard streamer pretty quickly. I mean, it would be cool though. I'm not complaining. Okay, I bought get Tim Keyless on the job. <laughs> no, no, very, very big props to Tim for getting the keyboard tag. I mean, I've been complaining about the keyboard tag for years. There's been a key caps tag but no keyboard, and they finally have a keyboard tag. Not that it'll do much for Twitch, because no discoverability on this platform, but still cool nonetheless. Bro, imagine sifting through knitters and Lego builders instead of keyboards. <laughs> Hello, Tim. Dude, why you, why you gotta call out the knitters and Lego builders? <laughs> Is that 205 on the wires? Nope, this is Crytox XHT BDZ. A lube that I have been using recently and trying out. I think I can safely say now that I've used it for long enough. It is a it is a good product. But I mean 205 still works. Great. Call out the who, the knitters, yeah. Damn Tim shitting on the other makers and crafters. Sirs. This is, it's 2021, Tim. Their stream, their choice. It's time to cancel Tim. He's too toxic. Can we get a hashtag cancel Tim movement going on? He is a, he's a makers and crafters ist. Hating on the knitters. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> Cancel cabs? Wait, that means canceling yourself, Manoli. It would cancel you and me. Okay, there's no dispute, Manoli and I, best two cabs in the game. Top one, that's up for debate. But Manoli and I, definitely top two. Unless there are other cabs I have not seen. But no, don't cancel cabs. 
Best two, yeah. Samurai Huey, do you have good cabs? Sam's are pretty top tier. I haven't seen Sam's. The Sam lift. Huey's are decent. Uh, I do, thank you. All right, show me your cabs, Samurai Huey. Manoli wants out of the game. I have a question. What are better, optical reds or optical blacks? They're literally the same switch with just a different weight. Reds are lighter, blacks are heavier. It's the same switch. It's just, do you prefer a lighter switch or do you prefer a heavier switch? Wannabe KB, thank you for the tier one sub. SL with the 27 months. Been Mio for a while. What mouse are you rocking right now? I just got sent a custom painted Razer Viper Ultimate yesterday. So I've been trying it out. It's pretty nice. I don't notice any loss in connectivity from my G Pro wireless so far. But I haven't gamed with it, so I don't know. I've just been using it for regular normie use. With that logic, does that mean Gateron yellow and red inks would sound the same as Gateron black inks? No, that is not true. Gateron yellow inks are very different from red and blacks. Red and blacks share the same housing, just different spring. But yellows are different. Yellow has a shorter travel distance. The mold itself is physically different. Uh, thanks for the Venom. Thank you so much for the 11 months. Cancel Huey. He lies. Manolis are top calves. I'm not biased. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Samurai. Friendship with Samurai Huey ended. Manoli is back to being my calf buddy. Hey, everyone. It's my first time here. Atomic Yin. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome. Where's the Iron Man mouse? Oh, I've got the Iron Man mouse. I've still got it here. And then I've got my FX Master 3. Is it time to become a mouse channel? I've been so completely betrayed. <laughs> have you seen a Korean movie called The Classic? I don't think I have. Iron Man mouse has been banned from eSports. <laughs> Byung-gun, thank you so much for the eight months. Okay, Sir Rahul Sir, thank you so much for the tier one sub. What stabs are those? These are the alpaca themed Duroc V2 stabilizers from primekb.com slash types. If you're getting into my stuff, definitely check out Boardsy on YouTube. That man is a psychopath, but he knows his stuff. I, I've heard his name. Is Boardsy the new mouse reviewer? Wasn't it like Rocket Ninja something? I thought he was the mouse guru. Is he no longer in the game of reviewing mice? Boardsy using mice, mouse pads instead of paper. Oh, Rocket Jump Ninja. There you go. That's the name that I was thinking about. I want to start the show Girl From Nowhere. Oh, that one also seemed interesting. I'm currently finishing up uh, Better Call Saul. So I haven't invested in more shows yet. Rocket Jump Ninja. Mm. He basically quit on reviewing mice. He just does uh, short videos now. Oh, really? Why'd he quit? Check DMs. Mm. Can I show this to, oh, oh, maybe I can't. I see, okay, okay. He no longer does long reviews anymore. Oh, Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad Perfect Shows? Yes. Yes, you can? Oh, I can show it. Oh God, this is so zoomed in. What, what the? Why is it so zoomed in? Oh, leaked on side view? Oh! <laughs> Alright. This is Samurai Huey's calves. Okay, respect, respect. I think it could use a little bit more definition though. I feel like mine are more defined. 
but I will give you the calf award. You do have big calves. Can't deny the size. Definitely can't deny the size. Gotta give respect where it's due. And it's not like he, it's not like it's undefined. He definitely has definition too. I just think it could be, it could use more definition. Does Teha have a calf fetish? No, that is Manoli visuals. I do not have a calf fetish. <laughs> I felt called? Oh, Sam Pack Pack, hello. I heard you have nice calves. I have yet to see your calves. Also, sick artwork. Well, I, okay, well, you didn't do draw the artwork, but I saw your Instagram story. I, maybe it was fan inspired, but the artwork someone did of you, very nice. It was great. They used to be more cut, but then I worked from home for two years. Oh, smooge. Okay, Teha, that is sus. What do you mean? Finally, I got Teha online. Oh, how gab. Hello, welcome. Neeson designed it. Ooh, I see. Wait, are they a community member? What lube are you using for the stabs? This is Crytox XHT BDZ. <clears throat> Lucas Kim, thank you for the 20 months. Uh, not GP, thank you for the bits. No, I don't, I don't know if I can do an Iron Man themed build. Actually, I guess if it's like fan art, you could do an Iron Man themed build. I'm not trying to get a C and D from Marvel. <laughs> do you know anything about the Sigma 18, 16 mil lens? I do not. The only Sigma lens I have used extensively is the 18 to 35 f 2.8. Do a drop collab? Okay. Is phase one keyboard worth? I will reserve judgment until I have built it. We are still on steps. I have not built it yet. Oh, isn't this the keyboard that got popular from a key set render or was this already planned? I don't know if this, I don't know about the lore of this. I just know it is happening. The group buy for this opens in two days on KBD fans. Tips on getting into film photography on a budget. Ooh. Hmm. I would say, like, I mean, if your budget is extremely tight, maybe go for a point and shoot. But if you get something like the Olympus XA, for example, I mean, it's technically a point and shoot, but you have a ton of control that might be a more economical way to get into film. Uh, I mean, if you can dish out more for a non point and shoot camera with an interchangeable lens system, yeah, I guess go for it, but yeah. There are very nice point and shoot film cameras. <coughs> Yeah, no, no, the person asked specifically for film. AE1, yeah, AE1's also GOAT. Uh, any of the older Nikon's cameras, also very nice. But those are fully manual. Collab with Willem Verbeek yet? I do need to hit him up. We're supposed to hang out. I'm me and Mr. Willem. Maybe I'll ask if he can come on my stream. I think he's also considering starting live stream. Holga is a super fun little camera. I've heard good stuff about the Holga. 
Pog, that would be insane. Wait, Ditto, you're into film? You watch Willem Verbeek? One of the goats? I love his stuff. His videos are so nice. It is also my dream to meet Mr. Grainy Days. He's also based out in California. Collab with King, King Vibes? I've seen his videos. I've seen his videos. Yo, Cartoon! Welcome back. Hello. Uh, how do you feel about the GMK Momo Yume group? Buy? I like it. I think it looks pretty cute. Yeah, I agree. I like it. Greeny Days is the goat too? Yeah, I, I recommend getting a Pentax Spotmatic. They're cheap and really nice. Mm. I leave the hobby for three months and the PCBs look completely different. <laughs> yeah, times are changing really quickly in the keyboard hobby, I feel like. Everyone is trying to uh, step up to the next level. Like literally everyone. Granny Day's humor is top notch. Agreed. I love his humor. Did you ever do the light fixture? No, it's still stuck on these tubes. I need to fix. I need to change it. <laughs> Why don't you post on YouTube now? I've been posting vlogs, but yes, my main channel has been dead for a couple months. I do intend to bring it back. There will most likely be an upload or two in the next coming months. Yes, in the next coming months. <laughs> Why not stream on YouTube instead? Mm, you know, that's a good question. Why don't I stream on YouTube? There are several reasons. I think the biggest reason why I don't stream on YouTube is... Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> I feel like the culture of supporting creators through donations and subscriptions it's not as ingrained on YouTube streaming um, that's my biggest worry because twitch still twitch is still the biggest uh, source of income for me that pays the bills giving that up and potentially trying out streaming on YouTube scares me I don't know there's a there's a chance that maybe my streams do better on YouTube. I do have a bigger following on YouTube, so more people would know I'm live on that platform, but yeah, we'll see. I'm just going to wait it out. There are some interesting things happening in the streaming space as well. Uh, YouTube definitely is stepping up their live streaming game. We'll see how Twitch responds. I mean, I'm, I'm not necessarily bound to a specific platform. I'm not under a contract from either brands either, so whatever ends up winning, I will switch to. But at the moment, I will still just stay on Twitch. Would you ever dual stream? Is that possible? Technically, I am not allowed to dual stream. I probably could. <laughs> I'm not a big enough creator where I'll get noticed, I think. But I am not. Why not? Uh, I'd, I'm pretty sure the content. Yes, I'm not contra I'm not contractual. But when you sign the terms of service as a Twitch partner, and if you're streaming content on Twitch, Twitch has exclusivity to that content for 24 hours. So if you dual stream, that breaks that clause. I could stream on YouTube if I wanted to. I just can't be dual streaming to Twitch. Like there's nothing in the contract that says I can't stream anywhere else. It's just if I'm ever streaming to Twitch, technically I am not allowed to be having that content hosted anywhere else. Linus Sebastian himself streams on three platforms. He is technically breaking Twitch's terms of service. He could get banned from Twitch for it. But I mean, he probably won't 
because his streams also on Twitch are not that big enough where Twitch will care. I don't know, I guess it's just a... I don't think it's a good look. <laughs> if you're someone that big and you're breaking a terms of service like that. Yeah, I mean, you can technically... It's, it's more of a don't get caught kind of deal, I guess. But, you know, I don't want to be a hypocrite. You also don't know what contract they have worked out. That's true. I mean, it is possible someone like Linus, you know, worked out a different contract. He is a big enough content creator where he can probably, you know, get certain benefits that someone like myself might not get. I am just a, a, no, a small time creator. Who really knows what contract he has? Yeah. YouTube live compression looks bad compared to Twitch? No way. I would say YouTube looks way better, no? Oh my goodness, Barnoom here. Thank you so much for the five gifts. <laughs> really, really do appreciate it. Thank you, Barnoom. You've been gifting a lot lately. <laughs> appreciate it. Whoa, Salty Sabat, Sabandiha. Thank you so much for the five of the subs too. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, I truly appreciate all the, the gift of subs. I know I've been taking a break from, well, I haven't been putting out as much content as I should have been. Uh, I am hoping to return though. I've, I've just been kind of on a long extended like half break, I feel like. I'm going through a semi-crisis on what to do with myself. <sighs> 384 left to beat NK. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with keyboard content anymore. Okay, this switch is not... I think the switch is rattling because this is just loose. Have you seen the Dollis? Yes, gotten my first frost. My GMK set frost switch. It looks nice. Nice. They have pipes. No one must subscribe to my OnlyFans. Have you started watching Squid Game? Yes. I watched up to episode three yesterday. Did you get the hot swap or solder? This is the solder version. Uh, any events planned on Discord? Not at the moment, but if we break a milestone or something, maybe. I'm a small content creator on YouTube and professional Whoa, professional rap artist. Okay, I'm an LA nati native, so I would love to get coffee with you and pick your brain one day. Ooh, I, I have been, I mean, it's in the back of my mind. I'm not big enough for like a fan meet, I think, but if we just did like a local, just a local small one at a coffee shop, that might be cool. Even if like, you know, one or five people come out. That might be interesting. I have been wondering if I should do something like that. Definitely on my mind. Are these Gat Yellows? Nope, these are Gateron cap switches. Okay, I over that one. But it still works. Spacebar sounds fine. No rattle on any of these switches. I know the owner of Smoking Tiger. Wait, you do? I'd love to have an event at Smoking Tiger. I go there pretty often. <laughs> or maybe we can have one at 11 Optical. 
Okay, chat, do we use the foam, yes or no? There is a PCB and plate foam. Do we use this, yes or no? SMH, this man spending my Twitch sub money going to Smoking Tiger? Okay, I don't go there all that often. But when I am in Orange County, Smoking Tiger is one of the more frequently visited <laughs> cafes. An Asian invasion, thank you for the five months. Salty Sabandija, thank you for the eight months. Just tuned in, thank you for the good content while I study. Thank you. All right, chat has voted yes. It's been a while since we've used the plate foam. Guess we are using it today. This is chat's choice. Damn it. I'm gonna solder a couple first because this is very loose. It is loose like sleeve of wood here at the moment. Are the corner switches. I also need to remember there's a block over there. Any thoughts on mech vibes? I don't think I've heard of mech vibes. You get to keep this board. Yes, I am sponsored by KVD fans. Generally, whenever they ship out products, I do get to keep it. You should hit up the guy from 18 East. I feel like he vibes with niche hobbies like ours a lot. Who is 18 East? Do you guys like this kind of BTS scene? I don't know, I'm just playing around. I do have the wireless cam, which I have been using only for cat cams mostly, you see. You guys want to see the cat? I'll show you the cat. Why do you get solder version? I mean, because I don't mind soldering. <laughs> Luffy's been here this whole time. Sells cats now. No. Joni Jones, thank you so much for the one year. He's so big, but he's still a little baby. They're turning two in a month. Can you guys believe that? favorite stream. <laughs> he He's shy? No, he's sleeping. Or he's trying he was and then I woke him up. Let me, let me change the lens actually.
Whoa, plants, thank you so much for the gift itself. Now we'll bring up. Oh, no, 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 no. Risk JT, I think it's a nine months. No, it's focusing on me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don, Dada, Ganoush, thank you so much for the five gifted. school watching this I don't know why cats like boxes so much whenever I unbox something they always want to go in there Helen Husandi welcome back for 11 months how have you been makes them feel safe Five gifted for Luffy, thank you. Boxes can help keep cats warm. I mean, so can my bed though. <laughs> or their cat bed or the plethora of other pet products I have bought for them which they don't use. They enjoy small spaces. Hello from France, so cute your cat. Hello from France. I want to visit France. Do cats need to be walked exercised? They don't need to be walked, but you do need to play with them. I think I've heard cats can die from not being like... Cats need to be mentally stimulated, like you need to play like chase with them. I've heard of cats dying from not being like mentally stimulated. Too much work to put on streams lately? Oh no, it's okay. Hope work's okay though. Our class is watching stream on a projector. Okay. When are you buying a phase one camera? Okay, bouncy. Legit, I just say one thing about phase one for the announcement. And then all the camera nerds think it's a camera. Imagine being able to afford a phase one. How are you doing, Mr. Bouncy? Gisela Jane? I can't. I'm still waiting on my V2CE. I think they, it's because they like touching all the side of the box. They know nothing is going to sneak up to them. Mm, mm -hmm. I see. Every Alexa when? Never. I don't want to deal with the workflow. It's also so bulky. Are these cat v2 yellows? I believe so, yes. Okay, let's go stepped caps. Can you share the playlist? I have a command exclamation playlist. Is the cat lubed? Yeah. You should hit up the people from Brain that they're all about cool hobbies and collabs. Ooh, I mean, if you know someone who's high up on Brain Dead, I'd definitely be down. I have been to their store, it's amazing. Very nice. I picked up my first Brain Dead piece recently. How are these compared to Gat Inks? I do think I still prefer Gat Inks more. We'll see, these are the V2s though. I don't know if, how much they've improved. 
Do you know what the price will be on the group buy? I have been told this will be five, $415 for the kit. That is excluding switches and keycaps and stabilizers. Finished installing. I left the this one open because there's a blocker here. I mean, I don't know anyone there, but you have the clout to reach out to them. Just DM on Instagram, maybe. Where's my coffee? I have a question. Are all 60% cases compatible with all 60 PCBs or not? That is not true. Just because they are 60% does not mean they are compatible. You like the coffee? Make the cat go away and I'll give 10? Says dog fart 438. Is it worth putting Luffy away for 10 gifted subs? <laughs> How many cats do you have? I have two. Oh, there might be a third cat. I might need to cat sit Jen's cat for about a month or so. So there might be a third cat coming. Not confirmed yet, but maybe there might be a third cat. What is Jen's cat's name? Ellie. It's the black cat that I that was on my stream for like three days, way back. Yeah, that's Jen's cat. When did you neuter Luffy? I just got my kittens neutered, but I don't know if neutering stunts grow. They were neutered uh, when they were two months. Two months old. Whoa, Salty Sabandija. Thank you so much for the five more gifted subs. Um, thank you so much. Monka Minka with the 18 months. Any new hyper fixations? What is hyper fixations? Lychee with the six months. Thank you so much. I'm hoping he becomes big boy like Luffy. Yeah, Luffy is pretty big. He's around 14 pounds now. Like he's not fat. He's just built big. Like, do you see the size of his paws? Did you try the Epsilon switches yet? I have not. Yeah, like his, his bones are like massive. Like his paws are huge. Like if you see him walking around, he doesn't look fat. He's just very muscular. And he's legit a mini lion. <laughs> he's a mini lion. Maine Coon jeans? I don't know. I've just been told they're domestic short hairs. But yeah, they're they're big. Weakest Teha kitty? What do you mean? I guess this is the cam angle for today. Okay, I have even less desk space to work with now. Let me move some stuff around. What the? Who posted this? Freaking forklift Billy? Okay, buddy. I'm just gonna go to <laughs> social. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I'll let you guys look at it. Fine. You guys can look at my cringe face. Uh, Duncan R, thanks for the tip. I haven't tried the Mercury 65, so I don't know if I can make a judgment. I've definitely tried the GMMK Pro, but Mercury 65, I haven't tried it. Can't really say. Brandon Kim, thank you for the 17 months. Future Smart with the 2 months, thank you. Don't solder the cat.
Okay, let me move this keyboard away for a moment. Let's also pull up spawn as if we made this manual focus. Okay. Yo, Christian. Hola, papi. Hello. Oh, Christian. My book came. I, the anime architecture book that you recommended, it arrived. It's pretty nice. Are you building a cat? Yeah, I'm building a cat today. I'm making a cat from scratch. <laughs> What's your daily driver currently? If you type in exclamation keyboard, it should link you to whatever keyboard I'm using at the time. But to answer your question, it's a Neko from Singa Keyboards. Hear me out, keyboard with cat box. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, I, I forgot to bring out my fan. Where's the fan? tried box inks wait there's box inks no I have not tried box inks I've heard of box creams but not box inks all right it is time for sponsor time we have a couple sponsors of the Tia types channel first one being KVD fans if you like this keyboard that we are building today, it will be live on KBD fans in two days. It is the phase one. But there are also several group buys running on KBD fans. Some of my favorite products being uh, GMK Momo Yume and EPBT Simple Hunger. Check them out on kbdfans.com. <clears throat> The next sponsor that we have is Key Cult. Head on over to keycult.com. I don't think there's been Key Cult news lately, but hopefully everyone who joined or won the number 265 raffle was able to get a unit. I believe they should have finished shipping. But yeah, be on the lookout for Key Cult. You guys already know they make some of the best custom mechanical keyboard kits in the game right now. Great people, check out keycult.com. I hate to scribble on double at Chinto Student Tayo, Kibutu Tayo, Kibutu Tayo, Kibutu. Mazayaki, thanks for the 10 months. I hate school. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, next sponsor that we have is Novel Keys. Head on over to novelkeys.com. GMK panels currently live. Check it out. It's a pretty interesting set. I like it. Also has some nicely patterned desk mats you can also pick up pbt heisenberg an officially breaking bad licensed desk mat or sorry keycap set you can also pick up or pre-order the mandalorian gmk keycap set also officially licensed by disney and lucas films but i do have a discount code with novel keys use code redo redo at checkout to save five percent off in stock novel keys products they've got tons of desk mats uh, switches keyboard merch keycap sets <clears throat> check out novelkeys.com and hopefully everyone's also excited for the novel keys meetup happening in a couple weeks oh my benji <laughs> thank you so much for the four months how are you doing, Benji? I haven't seen you in a while, I feel like. <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting Christian a sub. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, 
My first NK desk mat came in today. Nice. All right, the next sponsor that we have is Omnitype. Head on over to omnitype.com slash types. We teased the next Tea Types desk mat coming out. It will be run through Omnitype. Uh, we are still checking out the samples to make sure there's mm, to make sure there's nothing that we need to change and that we're happy with it. No keycap set running on Omnitype at the moment. GMK Dracula, hopefully we should start seeing shipping soon. It is currently on its way to Omnitype. And they do have the Bauer Light uh, waitlist open for those of you guys waiting for the upcoming Bauer. Snuggle Buddies? Yeah. Ooh, also. No, nothing. Never mind. Uh, do you understand what a box switch is? Are you asking me? Yes. What is a box switch? It's a, it's a switch mechanism design. You probably know of cherry switches. Uh, generally, most switches follow the cherry MX style of design. Several years ago, the box design was introduced by Kale. And it's a different way of implementing the switch design. Uh, Finnish people received their GMK Dracula sets today. Yes, if you guys live closer to Germany, you guys will be receiving GMK Dracula first as it will arrive to local vendors uh, much quicker than it does to the US. All right, the next sponsor that we have is Prime Keyboards. Head over to primekb.com slash types. No keycap set on Prime KB this month as well, but you can pick up several switches like the Alpaca V2s, Silent Alpacas, T1 Tactiles, Silent T1 Tactiles. Check out primekb.com slash types. Oh, Luffy's awake. Next, we have SwitchMod. Head over to switchmod.net slash types. They have been, there's been a huge restock of Trebosis 3203 and 3204. So if you guys were waiting on lube, check out SwitchMod. That is where I get all of my lubes from. And using my affiliate link saves you 4% off your lube purchases. And you guys should also be receiving GMK Frostwitch sets in the mail pretty soon. The next sponsor that we have is Zeal. Head on over to zealpc.net slash types, where you can pick up some fancy boutique switches like the Telios V2s if you're looking for a smooth linear, Zelios V2s if you want some strong tactility for your Felios, and Zeal also carries silent variants to both of those switches. Check out zealpc.net slash types. Luffy looking healthy? Yeah. Actually, I should probably take them to a vet. It's been a while since they've had a checkup. But I think my cats are pretty healthy. They haven't exhibited any worrying behaviors or conditions. What is that mouse? It's a custom painted Viper Ultimate. Your cat looks so fake. What? Are you saying he looks like a robot? This is a very real cat here. Uh, do, you have any, do you have an idea of how many desk mats of your upcoming ones are gonna be available? It will be a pre-order, unlimited pre-order. So as long as you make the order within the specified range of time, you should be able to secure one. Yeah, it's gonna be a pre-order. It won't be a in-stock item. Okay. 
Color difference between the two cameras is not pog. They're different cameras. What can I say? I'm sorry. Uh, let me see if I can adjust uh, the colors. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that is not the right. You're just gonna have to live with it. It's a different camera. <laughs> I am too lazy to color match these two cameras. Is that a Babyface Pro? Yes, it is. Almost done soldering. <clears throat> Isn't it just white balance? No, I would say the colors on the two are pretty different. So we can see cat. How about I just remove chat? <laughs> C log one and two. Uh, yes, my my EOSR is on C log one. That's on C log two. I wish the EOSR did C log two. I feel like it it easily could. I don't know. I don't know much about log, but. Is it that hard to push a C-Log2 firmware update for the EOSR? I'm loving my R6. I want an R6 or R5. <laughs> but I don't really have a need for it. You know? Actually, maybe vlogging on the R5 or R6 would be nice. Vlog on a C920. Okay, buddy. Choose the right C log or the workflow might C log. Okay. Uh, Geneva, thanks so much for the 11 months. Almost one year? Yeah. Thank you. Do you have any plans to upgrade your audio gear in the future? I feel like I am pretty set for audio gear in terms of recording. Uh, maybe for listening purposes. I mean, I'd definitely like to upgrade my speakers at some point. I have the Yamaha HS8s. It's very big though. I'd, I'd like a smaller, more capable speaker. Beast <clears throat> tail. Guys, hear his purring? Hold on, let me pause the music. Do you hear the purr? <laughs> he likes it. You have RTX? No, I actually am not using the filter at the moment. 
Yeah, I don't have RTX voice enabled. I would like an Odyssey headphone. LCD4? Didn't they announce the LCD5 recently? Never tried Odyssey products, but I've heard they're great. I'd love to try one. What is Omega expensive? Don't have the cash for that right now. And also not a priority for me at the moment. Um, when you check for straightness. Let us check for straightness. Odyssey 4 is 4K good enough for anyone. Odyssey X is more wallet friendly. I see. Your UE Live not treating you well? No, I mean, they're still nice. I use my UE Lives, but I think if I had the option between headphones and IEMs, I still prefer headphones. IEMs are comfy. They are comfortable, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't like the feeling of having earbuds in in my canal for that long. Are those the cap switches? Yes, these are. Uh, is pipe fixed? No, I forgot. No, this has ISO support. What am I saying? It's not fixed. Okay, right shift is fixed. Let's just leave one here. Let's check for straightness. I'm gonna check straightness for left shift caps lock and tab. Well, let's put the bottom switches to Stella Fiend, thank you for the 11 months. Okay, caps lock looks dank. Left shift. Damn it, left shift slightly crooked. How's this side? Where can I buy that plushie? Okay, croissant. Backspace looks good. Pipe key also looks good. Oh, forgot to put a key up here. Okay, enter looks great too, actually. Huh, that's the first. Right side looks nice, but left side is scuffed. Okay. Ah, Luffy's taking up so much space. Do you have any idea how many boards you have built in your time? I'm not too sure. I've never really kept track or kept count of how many boards I've done. It's probably slowed down. I feel like I don't, I haven't been streaming as much as I should lately, so. Over 100? Oh, for sure. I've definitely built several hundred. It's still probably under a thousand, but. I have definitely built a ton of boards. Oh, Mr. John B, long time no see, hello. Also, new vlog coming out in a couple hours, chat. Make sure you guys are subscribed to TS Snipes for the new vlog. I think this man's made more cubes than I have glasses. Oh, probably, for sure. Oh, left shift is still omega crooked. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, now it's straight. Okay. Let's now see if we missed a switch. I'm so obsessed with keyboards because of you. Nice. Hope you're enjoying keyboards. Okay, key tester. Okay, board works fine. I just realized the block logo is glasses. Yeah, supposedly this was modeled after the glasses frames that Dieter Rams used to wear. But there are, um, there's, inter there's interchangeable weights or um, badges. I will start from the hobby after the suit 80. Need to straighten my priorities. <laughs> okay, let's clean up and then we'll assemble this to see what my final thoughts are. Is that a new mouse? It is. I got it in yesterday. Well, I got it gifted. Did you grab a suit 80 in the mad rush or did they send you one? Um, neither. <laughs> I have not been buying keyboards. Well, I just paid for a, an expensive keyboard. So I, as much as it looked cool, I decided to hold off on it. Ibis very nice. Yeah, I just paid for Ibis. Uh, there is a private board that I also joined. It's being made through Mr. Gion, so it should be nice. But that was a hefty price to pay. So I decided to skip the suit 80. What board did you get? I got the Ibis and there is a private group by board that I joined, which I don't know if I can reveal yet until it's arrived, but I'll definitely be building it on stream. Okay, chat, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Be right back. Okay, shall we finally assemble this? No music? Oh shoot, why was music muted? Oh, that is 
corks. I thought it was hex for some reason. Which of these fatty torque screws are going to be? Are those bite marks on the box? Yes. Luffy was biting into it while I was busy tuning stabs. Did you get a cat cam? I've got multiple cams. It's just I want to have the I want to have the keyboard on full view. This is still a keyboard stream. Can you lower music? Yes, I can. Oh my goodness, he is. Oh, maybe I can do this. Mmm, big brain. And let's bring back stream elements. Music is still loud? What? How about that? Okay, so it looks like four torque screws holding the bottom and top half together. Mm. Okay, this is the top piece. Wow, there are a lot of components. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the acrylic diffuser for this top LED component is screwed on there with these two. There's also some acrylic pieces down there for the indicator lights, I think. And then this front piece is screwed on with these screws. I guess these black pieces, you can remove them and interchange colors if you'd like. And then this, this is the bottom piece. This sheet is removable and it looks like four screws hold the, this accent piece down here. Got it? Mr. Alres B, hello. I guess we'll use this foam. Since chat seems to want foam in today's build, we'll use this. Okay, then we're also going to need to apply gaskets. How does this sit on here? Let me check the product page for this. Let's see. Where do the gaskets go? Gaskets go. Did they apply that to the they apply it to the plate. Okay, I don't mind doing that. That looks much thicker. Oh actually no, this is pretty thick. Okay, I guess we'll do it to the plate then. So many foam boys in chat? Yeah. David Spill with the two months, thank you. Melody, whoa, long time no see. Thanks for the 10 months. How have you been? Pop Lock and Batman with the seven months. Scruffs with the 13. Pierce with the prime sub. Thank you. I guess we're doing it to plate, huh? It's not like I have an extra plate anyways. Mm, but there are long gaskets. No, I lied. These are, these look kind of long-ish. Are these meant to go on the plate? 
Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, did anyone here order a Keychron Q1 this month? I ordered one on 9.8 and I haven't heard a peep from Keychron on when it is supposed to ship. Uh, I would refer to the product listing. Did they list when they were going to ship? I did not purchase the Q1, so I don't know when it's supposed to ship. But they most likely have details on their product listing. Oh no, that's not straight. Keychron is some shipping something like 300 per day. There are Facebook posts about it. I see. Have your Q1 been lost completely? Yeah, I did email the Keychron folks back saying I never received it. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of too late for me to put out a video that I hit. The Q1 ship has already sailed for me. Uh, Keychron's product page said bare bones will ship anywhere between the 15th and 30th of September. Okay. Yeah, and they, they most likely had a huge amount of orders, if I had to guess, considering the reputation Keychron has, so they're probably experiencing delays of some sort. Did you say you have the HS8 speakers? Yes, SM can. Thoughts on Mode 65? I thought it was pretty nice for the price. I liked the I liked the mode 65 much better than the mode 80. Oh, this board has side gaskets. Hmm. What about mode DN Keg W? Okay, John B. Oh, Luffy woke up. Oh, he heard the food come out. <laughs> All right. He gone. Okay, this is now a keyboard stream again. Are you using an automatic feeder? I have an automatic feeder for dry food, yes. Um, especially because some like some nights I'll be out so I can't feed them on time, so. That's been the main purpose. Did this ship with the new KVD fan staff? I did not. Oh shoot, I did get stabs. Oh. They did send me stabs. <laughs> we'll use this in a future build. Oh, I didn't, it was wrapped up. Okay, we'll use it in the future. I think these are the new ones. The shape looks different. We'll use it in a future build. <laughs> Don't worry, we are, builds are back to regular schedule. Why this keyboard has so many gaskets? It's just a typical gasket amount, I feel. Oh, it does have side gaskets, which is a lot. But yes, this isn't too much. <clears throat> Why are certain sprit springs always out of stock? 
Ooh, that I'm not sure. I mean, if it's a popular spring weight, like 62 or 63.5, that's probably why. Are you playing the new CS operation? I didn't even know there was a new CS operation. Are you using Alpaca variant stab in this? Yes. Do you have free KFC on Uber Eats now? Why would I have free KFC on Uber Eats? No, I do not. I wish. Imagine having free KFC on Uber Eats. Couldn't be me. How'd you like the 40% on your desk? I mean, the board itself is nice. And the layout, I am not convinced on. <laughs> What is that mouse to say Viper Ultimate with a custom paint job? Sent in by a viewer. Pizza Squiz, things from the tier one. Ace of Spades with the seven months, thank you. One side completed. <laughs> now we've got to do the other side. What audio interface are you using? Babyface Pro. Ooh, this is going to be a little tight. Big fan from Costa Rica. Love your builds and content. Ooh, thank you. KFC equals Korean fried chicken. I already got your. I already got four boards since two months into the hobby. I'm addicted. How do you control yourself? It is. It is a little bit hard to control yourself in this hobby. I feel like. But you, the longer you're in the hobby, the the better it gets. Like you always go hard when you first start off. Well, I feel like a lot of people do. They're excited about a new hobby. It's novel. There's a lot of hype and FOMO. And then the, as you build your collection, you start to not buy as much. <laughs> The beginning of hobby is the steepest investment phase. Yeah, I would agree too. Are you using Stream Deck or only your macro pad? I have a Stream Deck off to the side here as well. Artisans are extremely addicting. Yeah, that's why I just don't. I don't even bother joining artisan raffles anymore. <laughs> so much stress, so much heartbreak, so much sadness. Ignorance is truly bliss in this hobby. It'll keep your mental and wallet safe. Once you find your preferences, you'll start to pick and choose. Yeah, that too. Yeah, developing your own taste definitely helps save a lot of money too. Uh, instead of just following the echo chamber that is the hobby. I feel like the whole hobby is one giant echo chamber. But don't give in to the chamber. Develop your own tastes and then you'll know what to buy and what not to buy. Is the keyboard on top of your daily right now? Yes. And would you say learning how to solder on a keyboard is a good idea? 
Uh, I would say if you've never soldered, practice on a cheaper keyboard. I think keyboards are a pretty nice introduction to soldering if you've never soldered, but you definitely don't want to mess up uh, an expensive keyboard component. So yeah, soldering keyboards is not too hard if you take the time to learn. It's a pretty nice intro to soldering. Any recommendations for a switch opener? I've been using my Keyboss switch opener since the beginning of time. Uh, I mean, there's uh, several nice options nowadays, but um, I'm not too picky on my keyboard or switch opener. Zeal has a pretty interesting switch opener. You can get switch openers from KBD fans or most vendors nowadays, I feel like. They have their own custom branded switch opener of some sorts. Do you still use the Tomo? I had to return the Tomo. So no, I don't have a Tomo. Well, I had to return it because there were issues. I will be sent a, another unit whenever the production finishes. I am practicing first solder keyboard on a stack 75 right now. I soldered all my switches in back. Oh no, you switched them backwards? No, I guess good desoldering practice for you. Dang, that is, that is unfortunate. <laughs> I thankfully have never desoldered a PCB backwards, but it sounds like a lot of pain. Did you buy S.A. Bezo? I did not. Imagine buying S.A. <laughs> I didn't buy S.A. Bezo, unfortunately. Do you think it's worth to buy a desoldering gun? If you plan on desoldering at least five to 10 boards, I would say it's worth it. It will save you so much time. Oh, Nami's here now. Okay. Let's route the... This cable routing channel is not, not that great. Okay, question. Do we stick with the glasses badge? Or do we switch it out? We can do okay. We can do 15. Eh, let's just do glasses. I don't know what the significance of 15 is. The OK seems a little troll. And then this should just go on top, right? These get Omega compressed. Oh, wow, that's a lot of compression. I've got to hold it down. Luba 3204, yes. These weren't lubed too heavily, I would say. I didn't feel like using 205. I feel like we've been, we haven't used thinner lubes in a hot minute. I mean, 3204 still is decently thick. Just J, hello. 15 might be a clock reference. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Board has been built. What is this? Hmm, 
I got sent. What is this keycap set? Do we use this? It looks like dice of PBT, but I don't know. I, this does not look like EPBT. It's an interesting font. What product is this on KBD Fans' website? Let's check KBD Fans. Looks like the less but better set. It's EPBT. Oh, there's an EPBT less but better? Keycaps. Less but better. Is there a link for this? Or is this not a link? Control F it. There's no less on this page. Oh, wait, we can search. KBD fans has search now. Oh, interesting. So this, oh, I kind of like that desk, man. This was made to be used. Okay, I mean, if it's EPBT, I guess we'll use it. Nami's here. We don't need like the right size. Okay, one new alt don't need, ISO don't need, one new pipe don't need, nope, don't need a froze. Sys, one you don't need. Oh, it's lowercase. Ooh, interesting. This is that stuff. Don't need one you control. Z X C V Q W E R T Y A S D. Delete maybe. One you alt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, what is the difference between regular GAT switches and GAT caps? Uh, GAT caps have been redesigned. The switch. The internals are slightly different. A, S, D, F. I don't know how else to describe the difference. Yeah, the lowercase kind of lit A, S, D, F, G. Might need that delete. Don't need that. We'll keep all these sys keys. I feel like that's supposed to be the Windows key, right? Oh, it is Windows? Okay, I guess we don't need the one new Windows then. This is for ISO probably. Alter. What? Is this alt? I think it is. This is stepped caps lock. Oh, you guys can't see. Stepped caps lock. No, this should be an altar. Insert, maybe. Ooh, they got system. System's kind of cool. Ah. Comes with foam inserted. Interesting. Only for the 625 though. Home, maybe. Enter. End, maybe. Q. 
W short right shift. No, that's not the right. Right shift. E F nine. I O P. F three. Maybe it's removable? Oh, maybe. I'll, I'll check it out. It might be removable. You're right. Mm. I kind of like this. Z, X, C, V, B. In person, this font kind of lit. There's our correct shift. Ooh, we could put system here. Let's do that. Control system. Control alt system. How about that? That way we can show off the system key. Oh, what is break? Oh. The keycaps are slightly off white. Yes, it's a, I would say borderline beige. It's like a very borderline beige off white. Oh, that is not an I, that's, that's the L. Interesting how caps lock or regular caps lock is fully spelled out, but stepped caps lock, it's uh, abbreviated. Same with backspace. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense for one new backspace. <laughs> sounds thick I mean we did use that thick we have two sheets of foam in here so better sound thick regular caps lock better I feel I do wish this had caps or maybe if it's like caps instead of caps lock it is a weird it is a little bit weird how this is abbreviated while the rest aren't. You know, my shaky thing is for three months. Tell but you have to Uber Eats as a human. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing, Frank? Wait, I. Oh, it even has double B. Okay. It'll be ER. UI. Pizza. Okay. There is no. There should be an FN key. Which I have not seen. It's probably not in here. This is numpad. Oh man, did I throw the FN key somewhere? GG, I must have thrown it in the bag. <laughs> okay, let's do page up, page down. Shoot, I threw away the FN key somewhere. Okay, page up. Which page up do I need? Wait, none of these are the page ups. These are page downs. This is not the right profile that I need. 
delete you just want me to put delete is there the right profile delete no it's not none of these are the right profile is this no I guess we can do that page up page down okay can we use the foam and the space how is this up? this is not stuck on glued here right Oh no, this is not, there's a there's an adhesive chat. These are not meant to be interchanged. This is actually just stuck onto the 625. So I guess 7U does not come with foam. Yeah, that is an interesting choice decision. I feel like if anything, you probably want to foam the 7, you know, because it's bigger. Their stab foam comes with adhesive, but you can choose to stick it or not. I see. Okay. I guess this is the completed build then. This is the phase one with the EPBT X open key less but better keycap set. I think I like these icons. I like the icons. I'm also very glad it's icon plus text. Icon plus text is my personal favorite choice. It's got the Bauer blocker, so it's aligned here, it's aligned there, it's aligned there. It's bothering me that Q is the only uppercase. Wait, this Q is not uppercase. This is a lowercase Q. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Pretty neat, yeah, it's definitely a off-white borderline beige keycap set. It is, if you're looking for a white, this is not white. It's not a pure white, I should say. Ooh, daughter board. Also pretty nice machining there. Pretty nice. I mean, this is pretty pricey though. KBD fans is pricing this set. Oh, oh, 415, which is pretty insane. So there's the indicator lights. Okay, so it looks like caps lock is working. I'm assuming the other two are for scroll lock and num lock, but caps lock is responding. It is a little bit of a shame there's bleed here. You could probably apply some tape like black tape or white electrical tape. If you match your plate color, it'll probably, you can probably do a little better with the bleed off here. And there's also a bit of bleed through. Mm. Well, this bleed through kind of makes sense. Like you have, you literally have the light shining at the keycaps. So you can't really tell there's bleed through underneath the plate because this is so overpowering. But this, it would have been nice if this was better handled. But this is the board. Does this react to anything? I don't, is this literally just there? We'll see. <laughs> Looking like some pop of headlights. Yeah. All right, this is the board. This is the back. Less but better. Man, there can't be bleed on a $400 board. Um, I would say most keyboards that I know with some kind of physical, with some kind of LED that's meant to just kind of accent the case has some kind of bleed through. I don't know of many boards where the bleed through is very well controlled. It's just life. That's not the fault of the board, it's that the plate is translucent. Wait, the plate is not translucent. 
It's white aluminum. <laughs> no, it, we use an aluminum plate. It's not translucent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the keycap set definitely nice. I I can get behind this font. I like this font. I was a little hesitant on the lowercase on the render, but in person, I dig the lowercase. I've been all about that lowercase life recently. This is pretty neat. Is the bleed due to a warp wrap keycap or is it just the board? No, the bleed... Oh, the bleed is due to there being a gap. I mean, because there's... Do you remember when there's the... It's probably easier if I show it in... Can I show it on the KBD fans listing? KBD fans phase one. Uh... Yeah, I can probably show it. So if you look here... So these bottom LEDs here... They stick out past this top edge of the case. And this, I mean, this technically is covered by the front edge. But like the LED is so bright. Maybe if we lowered the LED intensity, it might be better. But it's just, it's just light leaking through. Like the plate doesn't fully cover. How can I show it? Like if you look. Like there's a slight gap between the plate. It's, it's just for the gaskets. It's because that gasket tab sticks out. So there's a slight gap there. But yeah, I mean, you can... Are you gonna... Are they gonna address it after seeing your stream? I highly doubt it. I mean, keyboards with LED light bleed, it's pretty common. Yeah. Oh, whoops, wrong scene. It's pretty common. This isn't, this isn't the first board to suffer from this. You can also just turn this off. <laughs> if you don't like the light bleed, just turn off the LEDs. Problem somewhat solved. Okay, let's see how much this weighs. So this is with the foam. And this is with PBT keycaps. Oh my goodness. This fully built with the glasses badge weighs just shy of four pounds, three pounds, 15.5 ounces, 1,799 grams. Okay, do we have mods? Can we get the casino open? And the prediction. Oh, while I take the screenshot. Can we get the LED in for the screenshot? Oh, this cable's too short. Oh, Sasaru, thank you. Maybe this one might be long. Why are all my cables so short? Three. Three. Oh, wait, caps lock. Three, two, one. Boom. All right. This color scheme though, I like. I like the default colors. It looks nice on this Bayes GMK Art desk mat. Kind of sick. I'm feeling like 145 with this. Okay. 3,000 on the line, okay. 
Let's see. Uh, where's my monkey type? There it is. Let me pause the music. Uh, let's check via. What is the default default layout on this? Uh, caps lock? No. Left control, left windows, left alt, right alt? No. Uh, switch language. Let's make that layer one. Page down, page, page up, page down, backspace, backspace. Layer one, let's put caps lock in there. And that should be all the keys I need. Let's also make that delete. Delete. Okay. Okay. Oh, what happened to monkey type? Wait, why can you guys not see monkey type? Hello? Wait, why is monkey type? What is going on? Hold on. Do you guys see monkey type? You guys don't see monkey type, right? I swear it's on. <laughs> monkey type acting shy? Yeah, why is that? Uh, hold on. Let me change the then bring it back. Hmm. Is my Chrome? Chrome works. Okay, let me try not showing this. Let me reopen monkey type. What? I am very confused. My window is being highlighted, but it's not showing on screen. Huh? What? Monkey Bort? How do I... Um... Okay, let me try removing the source then. And just re-adding it. Re-add... Uh, browser monkey type oh why is it like that now what why is it green screen what is going on Did they make some update for like streamers? I can't see that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's remove this again. <laughs> Why does monkey time do this all of a sudden? Browser. No, let's do window capture. Add existing monkey type. Okay. Oh, there we go. I don't know why it did that. Okay. Woo. Okay, point the mic down. The predictions oh predictions did run. Okay. This is the phase one typing test built with an aluminum plate. Uh Gateron cap switches lubed with Trebosis 3204. Stock springs lubed also with 3204. No switch no switch films. Um, it does have the plate foam as well as the foam that sits at the bottom of the case. Uh, keycap set is EPBT less but better. And I think that's it. This is how loud my mouse clicks are right at keyboard level. Here we go.
Oh, we do this. such a good run in the beginning Go through the mods. I mean, this is filled with foam, so I feel like this is to be expected, but it does have a nice tone. I like the V2 Gateron caps. Um, if you guys remember my initial reviews of the V1 Gateron caps, I, f I said they suffer from binding, slight binding on off-axis presses because of the, I don't know what it was, but this has greatly improved it. I wouldn't say they're necessary, I wouldn't say they're GM JWK level of smoothness. But I'm okay with this level of white noise scratch level. It's not the smoothest switch, but it sounds pretty nice. We might have to do a comparison with caps and inks. Because this, I would say this rivals Gateron ink sounds. This sounds pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I can't do a comparison right now, but definitely something to do for the future. This sounds really nice. I mean, just to switch. Flex test, there's no flex. I mean, I put in... This is filled with foam, quite literally. There's no flex on this. This is a firm piping bottom mount. Yeah, I mean, the gasket doesn't really do much for the feel, I feel like. It's just mostly for the clack acoustics. It's... If maybe if I had built it without the foam, it might have been slightly softer, but because it has it's just filled with foam, it is omega stiff. I like this board. Okay, let's do one more, one more, one more prediction. Um oh wait, I never paid people out. Okay. Doubters win. Can we believe? Do you think I'll get I'll pass 145? Can you take out the foam only? Well, okay, fine. I can't remove the plate foam. I can remove the foam that's at the bottom. I don't think that'll do much though. As the plate, as the foam that's sitting in between the PCB and plate probably is the root cause for like 80% of the sound and stiffness. Are you a fan of using foam in keyboards? I am not. I don't use foam if I don't have to. I think using foam 
I mean, yes, you will get a nice, deep, potentially thocky sound out of it, but it just sounds very muted. It kills a lot of character in most boards, I feel like. I don't know, I mean, I guess it's nice to have one board, at least. But once you start, if you have every board that you build with foam, it gets a little boring for me. I prefer to have diversity in my keyboard. Okay, so we removed this bottom. My guess is it probably won't change much. But who knows, I could be wrong. I'm no audio expert. Watch it change the whole sound. Okay. But yeah, if you guys like this, this board will be entering group by in two days on September 24th. Do KBD fans. I do like the aesthetics. I I can get by the aesthetics of this. I probably would have done without this. But I like the weight or accent piece. I like this front lip. I generally don't like curvaceous boards like this, but I think I can I like this design. Uh, it is also a shame that I feel like the LEDs they had the potential to make it perfect. We did talk about the bleed through here slightly. The one here is fine. I don't understand the point of this light. I feel like if it react, if it's, if they could make this react to, I don't know, something, maybe it'll be nice. I mean, it's an interesting, it's interesting nonetheless, I guess. I do like the blue and orange color scheme. Okay, it does sound a little bit more lively, actually. Actually, I can, I can hear a slight difference in sound already. Let me pause the music. Here we go. Test number two. This is with the bottom sheet removed. Smoge, I'm washed up. Oh, what? Oh, wait, you know what the issue is? Wait. Huh? Oh, it's shorting now. I need, we need that bottom foam. If I type in one, it types Q and A. If I type two, it's shorting. GG. Okay, so we, it looks like we need the bottom foam. <laughs> We need the bottom foam. That's why I was making so many errors. It was shorting. So this is pro this is probably a functional. This is here for a functional reason. I maybe, if you guys like to experiment, consider building it without the the uh, what is it? The plate foam. Yeah. That is a hard pass. No, I, I mean, I don't think this is bad. I mean, I definitely, there are definitely expensive boards that require a sheet of foam on the bottom. If you could tape it, yeah. That can damage the PCB. I mean, it technically can, yes. 
most likely won't, but just to be, it is good practice. There is always a chance, yes. Okay. Tate mod it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Tate mod might not fully fix unless you Omega layer it. I'm not trying to add three layers of tape on here because the tape will poke through these pins. You might as well just use this foam. You're going to end up using so much foam that you might as well just use it as intended. Yeah, so for those of you guys asking about the, the LED bleed, it's because of this. So you see the LED stick out past the plate here. And then when it gets, when it sits on the actual uh, diffusers, oh, I guess flipped. There's just an ever slight gap where the light is bleeding through. So that's what you were seeing. Well, I mean, I, I don't think any of these are deal breakers. Like I said, I've seen tons of other, well, I guess I should say I have seen tons of other boards that are expensive with these issues. So I guess that's not technically an, an excuse to allow for it. I feel like these could have been easily prevented for sure. Maybe if they had prototyped more rounds, but I don't think any of those are deal breakers for me. It is unfortunate though. Like if they had hit all those marks, I think this would have been an easy recommend. Rebuild without plate foam? Uh, not today. <laughs> That's going to require me to desolder and resolder. But if I had to guess, most people buying this will probably build it with the plate foam anyways. That's the market KBD fans is trying to capture, I feel like. Deal breaker is the shorting. I mean, just use the foam. Like I, it is a slight overthought. I feel like to have it short without the foam. I do agree on that front. Is it not possible to solve the issue before the production run? I'm not sure. I mean, I can. I'll definitely message Way about it. It's ultimately up to the designers whether they feel like it's worth. I mean, they're already announcing the group buy in two days. We'll see. Is it shorting now? Yeah, no more shorting. All right. It's probably a size thing to minimum height. You have an insulator, maybe. Being required to use case foam on a board this expensive is a major deal breaker to me. I don't think the foam underneath the PCB is that bad. I personally don't like the foam in between the PCB and plate. But if a board requires me to use foam underneath the PCB, I'm okay with that. I will say it is. it would be nice to have the option to not use that foam. Like for example, the, the was it the Polaris? I think the Polaris comes with a sheet of foam you can put underneath the PCB but it's not required I think I don't think it causes it to short so it, I do agree that is a slight oversight a pretty neat little board I think considering it's coming from KBD fans or I guess KBD fans didn't design it but uh, considering it is being vendored through it it's pretty nice not gonna lie I do like the RGB bleed if you like it, that's fine. <laughs> I personally, I think the color scheme saves it a little bit. Like the blue and orange is a really nice blue and orange. So that does make it a little bit more acceptable. But I personally would prefer it if there is no RGB. I don't know, it just looks slightly, gives it a slightly cheaper feel look over here. Like this is fine. But there's literally legit an LED shining on the keycap. So it blends in with the bleed on the side, but this one, the, the our light bleed doesn't make sense. Yeah. Mod Connor, David with tip. What keycap set is that? This is the EPBT less but better set on KBD fans. This is EPBT. 
Penta, thank you for the 22. Vince, thank you for the bits. Kaisen Fender with the two months, or two years, sorry. Padawick with the 18 months, thank you. Can you turn it off via? If. Ooh, can I turn it off? I cannot. Yet. Oh, well, I can. Oh, wait. What? I could turn off the top, but not the bottom. You can turn it off. Okay, let's see. Let's say we program in. Uh, you can do it. Or scroll lock. Scroll lock. No, not num enter. Num lock. Is this not scroll lock? Hmm, what controls this? Scroll lock doesn't do anything. Caps lock works. I don't know how to get this last light off. What what does this control? Or what triggers it? I don't know actually. Pause? Pause generally is not a... No, pause doesn't do anything. Pause generally doesn't trigger. Numlock. Numlock works. Numlock triggers it. If I make this numlock. Yeah, numlock. It reacts to numlock. It reacts to caps lock. But scroll lock does nothing. Try unplugging board. I mean, if I hold down function key, nothing happens. Oh, wait, where is. Numlock is. You. Oh wait, why did I unplug that? <laughs> U and Y are scroll lock, num lock. Yeah, scroll lock doesn't react. Num lock works. I'm not sure what controls this. It turned off when it um. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Q. W. E R T. Where's Y? Y Q. Okay. Desolder the LEDs. I suppose you couldn't desolder the LEDs. Mm, so this color is changeable. Underglow effect speed. Underglow color. Oh, okay, so this is determined by the underglow. So you can make it as bright as you want or as dark as you want. You could just cover it. Yes, an easy fix is you can you can fill up the gap so it won't bleed through anymore. That is correct. Why would it have a windlock indicator? I don't think windlock is a thing. All right, that is it for today's build. Yeah, once again, this goes live on the 24th. Check out KBD fans. The products page says the third one always stays on. Really? That's an interesting design choice. Where does it say that? If you choose a half plate, okay. Oh, the bottom right is the indicator, like from left to right. First is cap, second is num lock. Oh, and the third is always lighting on. Interesting. Looks like the third one you cannot turn off. Okay, thank you whoever caught that. Yeah, you can just, if it really bugs you, you can tape it. <laughs> is this thocky or poppy? Mm, I would say this is, it's like a mix, maybe slightly more on the thocky side, but it's definitely got pop too. 
It w I wouldn't call this entirely thocky. Oh, this though. This is a good thock. Why can't people use higher or low pitch for sound? I don't know. Keyboard community has their... They've got their own vernacular. <laughs> All right. That is it for today's stream. Um, there should be a vlog coming out in about two-ish hours. Please check it out on Taya Snipes when it goes live. Check out my socials on the other platforms. Oh, what happened to my command? Oh, there, there it is. Okay, just paint over the lights. Yeah, you can paint over the lights if you want. Where can I buy Gateron Cap V2s off KBD fans? What's the difference between milky yellow and golden yellow Cap V2s? I actually don't... We can check. There might be a plastic compositional difference. Um, let's see. Cap. If I had to guess, the plastic material is different. I can't tell you how it's different though. Or maybe it's not, maybe it's just a spring difference? Yeah, I don't know the details on this actually. Can you put minimal on it and do a typing test please? Where's my minimal? My minimal is on a board somewhere, I have to remove it. Can I just put any other keycap set? If you want just any GMK set, I can do that. I would have to remove GMK though. Like in the hair color? Thank you. Put Oblivion? Oh, what is happening to my... Oh. Would you recommend Topra boards for people who want tactility but like the softness of rubber domes? Yes, I would definitely say so. Let's see what sets I have. How about just good old white on black? Skidata? I do have Skidata available. Vote yes for Skidata. Vote no for GMK white on black. While I remove these keycaps. This badge does, would match with Skidata. Chat has voted for Skidata, okay. Okay, I can do that. Math, that's me thinking of this. Okay, Math, that's me. I will send you an email today, I promise. If I don't send it, I will not stream. <laughs> I I will mark it. I will get back to you. <laughs> Shout out to the 14 months. I apologize. I've been, I've been like flooded or very busy trying to uh, get this latest campaign out. That's been taking up most of my mental capacity. I will email you. Are you getting DCS incognito? Hell yeah. 
Did I miss the sound test? We're about to do another one with GMK keycaps. You did miss it with... Um, Actually, wait, math, math, that's me. Thanks for the bits. I have a better question. In your email, tell me what you're looking for. We should first figure out if I can even do what you want. If it's out of my ability, there's no reason to have you waiting. Send me, send me a new email if you already haven't in your first email. Let, tell me what you're looking for. And then we'll, we'll see if we can do something. Okay. Ooh, do we use the accent keycaps? Do we use these orange accent keys? Yes or no? Looks like that's a hard yes. So we are going to use accent. Badge supposed to be glasses? Yes. Hugh Hewo, thank you so much for the three months. Oh, math, that's me. Thank you so much. Uh, what limitations are there? I mean, just tell me what you want. It really depends on your design and material. Can you work with gold? Okay, I definitely don't work with gold. I do not work with precious metals. Only, only cheaper metals cheaper and readily available metals like aluminum, brass, stainless steel or plastics uh, but can you? no, I cannot do gold <laughs> I don't know I have no knowledge on gold I would not trust myself with gold once you enter precious t jewels that's a, that is beyond my <laughs> expertise <laughs> if gold is what you're looking for I am not the person to ask as that is beyond what I can do or offer. Well, are you asking about actual gold? Or, well, even gold colored. I Gold colored is too hard to get down, I feel like. If you're trying to go for fake gold. Solid diamond escape key would be dope. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't trust myself to the diamonds that's a whole nother field and industry you've got to learn and get integrated into solid shungite keyboard <laughs> or stepped caps Ooh, we can use the stepped one or caps the window steps Oh, this has alt gur. Yes, 24 quart. It does not have to be pure gold. Embedding is fine, but I do like gold. Yeah, if you're looking for gold, I cannot do it. <laughs> and I, I refuse to offer a service where I know I am not an expert on because it would most likely be subpar <laughs> I don't even know how to get started with learning about precious metals uh, short shift where is short shift huh does this not have oh it's here I'm stupid Page up. Okay, this has the correct page up, page down profiles. Nice. Nice setting. 
You like the Gateron caps? I am liking it. So how much do these cost? Let's see if it's worth the cost. Uh, these are, oh, $11.80 for 35. That's not too expensive. That's like what, less than, I can't do the math right now. What is 11? Oh, it's not plugged in. 11, 80, divided by 35. 33 cents, or closer to 34 cents per. Which is relatively affordable for a Switch. Hogger Chris, thank you for the Prime sub. Would you choose Cap V2s versus Alpacas? Honestly, after hearing how this sounds, I might choose the V2s or Caps. Alpacas for sure are smoother. If smoothness is your priority, go with Alpacas. I might like this sound better though. Okay. Let's bring back the monkey types. Let me pause the musics and redo. Here we go. This is what this sounds like. Uh, why are the H and P color for these? Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay, in a board like this, with this keycap set, I feel like the bleed makes sense. This looks sick now because the orange matches. You know, there's a whole orange theme going on. I think it's still not ideal, but kind of matches. Oh, change LED to orange. True. Let's do that. That's not very dark. Ooh, well, let's make it less bright. Huh? Yeah, you could also make this breathe. Okay, here we go. This is with a GMK set now, so it's probably gonna sound different. This is how loud the mouse clicks are at keyboard level. Is this a new PR? Wait, what was my PR with the, what was my PR with the candy, candy bar? Is this a new PR? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's on my TikTok. <laughs> hold on. Let us confirm. Yeah, oh, shut up. What was my PR here? Oh, it's 152. Oh, all right, new PR, 154. 155 if we round up. Sheesh, all right, this board confirms make you type better. GMK better than EPBT. Orange is the best color in the world. <laughs> Confirmed cap switches goaded. Friendship with candy bar ended. 
Phase one is the best board now. <laughs> uh, Matt asked me to get a biscuit. Uh, you bougie. Is it possible to talk through Discord? Does it have to be email? Uh, Discord is fine. It's just Discord messages get lost because I get pinged to oblivion. Email is easier for me to track, but if you prefer Discord, that also works too. All right. I will say it sounds less dead with GMK. Probably that's probably the keycap material. I feel like the EPBT slightly gives it a. It's thicker, so it gives it a different sound signature. It still sounds pretty good with GMK though. Oh, this number. Loki prefer the EPBT keycaps. I mean, if I also liked how it sounded with the EPBT keycaps. Hard to say which sound I like better. Yeah, you're just gonna have to A-B test it in the VOD. But thematically, this keycap set works very nice with the orange and black badge here. Number is creamy, yeah. Could you ask for a half plate to try on this? I could ask. We'll see if they, I don't even know if they have a half plate <laughs> to send out, but yeah, sure. Is this with three layers? This is with two layers of foam. Uh, I did not use this. Well, actually, it ripped. <laughs> I did not use this. This was used in none of the builds today. We experimented with the bottom foam off and on, but it does require the bottom foam, unfortunately. Paulo Matico, thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. All right. I think I don't owe chat subs anymore. I'm pretty sure if someone digs through the VODs, there was a, I did, I said something else stupid too. But I think I have met that quota with this PR. <laughs> Woo. All right. This board shorts with full plate and half plate with flex cut as an option. Well, it's cause they assume you're gonna use that bottom. You're required to use that bottom foam, I think. Okay, pull request. What do you mean pull request? Uh, Boba U4T versus 68, 62 versus 68. I like 62 grams. Mm, Igarashi Utah. Things are the tier one sub. Oh no no, personal record, not pull request. Personal record. Would you use this board as a daily driver? I would. I think 65% is like the minimum I would want in a daily driver for productivity. For gaming, I guess depends on if you need the dedicated arrow keys or not, but I prefer having dedicated arrow keys for general productivity work. And the board looks pretty nice. I think it looks great. Sounds good. Feel is a little bit stiffer than I would like. Would have been nice if it was slightly softer. Did you join Mr. Suits? I did not. Uh, any update on Tahao merch? No updates, still stuck in the ocean somewhere. TKL or 75, I'm a TKL guy. My man is a coder, yes. All right, who can we raid? We've got, oh, Courtney's doing music. What the, we've got Courtney, Sam Pack Pack, Marcia. You can also raid Just Chatters, Final Fantasy, TFT. Apier is live? Yeah, we haven't raided Marcia in a while, huh? We don't really overlap. We can raid Marcia. Raid message is gonna be congrats on the U cell. What's the op what's the antonym of power? She got sponsored by I buy power recently. So congrats on the U cell use weakness oh but that sounds bad now you sell weakness power you sell dexterity dexterity sponsorship teha omg teha types ray teha that doesn't make sense well it's not an antonym but okay fine you Fine, let's do U-Cell Power. 
I B power? No, that's the U cell power. We got a troll. Okay. She is building a Heine keyboard. We love Heine Bush. She's building an HBCP. Congratulate her on her recent sponsorship. I will see you guys on Friday. I'm thinking I might keep making Friday streams just chill. Probably no keyboard build. Or if it is keyboard related, it'll just be a chill stream. Maybe lose some switches or check out interest checks. I think I, I like it. I like having one chill stream and then two keyboard streams a week. I feel like three keyboard builds a week can get kind of boring. Nice to change up the content. What happened to your frong? I'm asking you from a long time. What is frong? Frog? I have my frog. I'm just not using it at the moment because I have new boards to use. Artisan keycap show off? We can do that on Friday. I don't have that many artisans though. All right, have fun with Marcy's stream. I'll see you guys in two days. Bye bye. Have you used your Serata since you got it? No, I don't want to use it. It's so shiny. It gets fingerprints immediately. But I probably will bring it out eventually. <laughs> all right. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the gifted subs today. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys in two days. Bye bye.